praise the name of the Lord. God bless you in Jesus' mighty name. I'm excited, actually super excited to come your way. I'm happy to be a vessel by which God is using to speak to you powerfully. I'm grateful to God. Welcome on this platform in Jesus' name. Now, if um, for adventure you're seeing me for the first time, my name is Samuel E. Molombe. I'm the man that God uses. I'm a vessel. I'm a priest of God. And welcome again on this platform in Jesus' mighty name. Would you mind um, joining our Christian community here on this platform? We pray together, share the word of God together, receive prophecies together. I mean, it's amazing in here. You might want to be a part of it by just subscribing and ringing the notification bell so that you are updated when we post. If you are regular on this platform, thank you so much in Jesus' name. The Lord says someone loves you so much that love is attracting some enemies. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, thank you for your word. Thank you for your spirit. Now, dear Lord, I pray, speak to us in a language that we can understand. Guide our hearts into all truths. Help us to dissect your word, to receive the blessings from it, and to be all that you have called us to be. In Jesus' name, amen. So family, there is somebody who is madly in love with you, crazily in love with you, and is not quiet about it. I see somebody who is genuinely in love with you and the person is not quiet about his love, not even intending to be quiet about it. And honestly, it is stirring some jealousy in the hearts of the people who are listening and they are beginning to hate you for no good reason. When God said this word to me, I remembered the story of Joseph and his brothers. I remembered how that Jacob, the father of Joseph, gave him a coat of many colors. And that stirred the jealousy of his brothers. Is he the only one that is in this house? Is he the only one that can wear such a beautiful garment? Why would father decide to do that? You see, the father was expressive of his love for Joseph. And the brothers didn't like it. The Bible tells us clearly that Jabez was more honorable than his brethren. So whatever the criteria was, Jabez was more honorable. But he had a problem. The mother called him Jabez. You see, family, there are times when people go expressive, so expressive about their love for you that it begins to pose a problem. The Lord says, right about now, there is a group of people who are hating on you simply because somebody loves you. But this is the good part of the prophetic word. There is absolutely nothing they can do about it. <laughs> God says there is absolutely nothing that they can do about it. God has blessed you and that's fine. God has helped you and there is nothing anyone can do about it. The Lord is saying that the more they talk about you, the more he will lift you. The more they exhibit hatred, the more he will favor you. The more that they are in complete denial of the graces of God that are working in your life, the more he will add grace upon you. There is nothing they can do about it. The good news is God doesn't consult your background or your neighbors or your environment to determine your future. God doesn't consult your haters to determine how far you can go. So you must be um, you know, assured, rest assured, that God is good and he will continue to be good to you in spite of what anybody thinks. I feel in my heart to pray for you, to pray that God, by his grace, will keep carrying you to higher levels in spite of every other negative voice that might have risen against you. I pray that God will silence the voice of evil over your life will silence the voice of the accuser over your life and God will elevate you, God will prosper you, God will bless you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I declare the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord cause his face to shine on you. The Lord be gracious to you and give you peace in Jesus' name. I love you so much and shalom.